with class back in session in just a few days, the roads are expected to get even busier with parents and yellow buses dropping off kids to school. Now the CAA is out with a survey reminding drivers to stay extra alert when passing through school zones to ensure student safety. The report was was pretty telling actually um, found that uh, Parents definitely feel that there are some challenges in school zones and safety being one of them. According to the report on driver safety in school zones, CAA's South Central Ontario found that 60% of parents surveyed are concerned about the driving behaviors witnessed in their child's school zone. Now that's a 5% jump from last year. They were seeing things like speeding, double parking, blocking school bus zones was a big one, as well as stopping in undesignated areas. Majority of the parents surveyed were also in favor of reducing speed limits in school zones, with over 75% of these parents agreeing that 30 kilometers per hour or less is an appropriate speed limit. Local police services are also getting involved with student safety on top of mind. You always stop. Our traffic safety bureau is going to be out on full force. Uh, every fall we start with our ABCs, which are the Always Be Careful initiatives. Uh, we're going to be having officers out in school zones, monitoring areas where there's crosswalks. That is a $250 fine for doing that. Constable Dixon is reminding drivers to slow down in school zones and warns any speeding fines in a community safety zone will be doubled. York Regional Police say parents can also do their part in ensuring kids stay safe by going over the rules of the road and some parents are being proactive doing just that. Usually I tell him to keep a, a track on the surroundings and try to tell him that look left and right before you go ahead. Do you walk to school? Yes. And when you're crossing the street, are you looking both ways? Mm, yes. Drivers can expect to see a boost in police presence in school zones across the GTA, especially in September, to help kick off the first month back to school safely. On Parliament Street, Jasmine Graywall, City News.